reflecting on uh, the activities that have gone under errors, uh, we had engagement with Action Aid because uh, most of the challenges we have at districts is local revenue. So we embraced the idea, we discussed it in technical planning committee. It came to us, it, it was like uh, an interaction in our conferences here at the district. It's when Action Aid mentioned it, otherwise for us we were collecting our revenues in the primitive way, chasing around people, moving up in villages like that. This area which is very highly needed by all local governments in this country because you will agree with me that uh, for you to run a local government you must have revenue. So uh, the initial arrangement was for us to apply to the Ministry of Local Government under the Local Government Finance Commission. So because we had already shown interest uh, it did not take even two weeks and the Local Government Finance Commission notified us that we were being enrolled on IRAS. First, it was a bit difficult. You know, new things. New things are difficult. So we really had a problem to bring in our, our members on board, especially our teams in the villages. But uh, from that training, it was a two days training that we had here. But you know, like, I'd already been given responsibility to run this thing. I've been moving faster. Financial begins in July, and that's when we started uh, the collections. We are seeing uh, progress. The update they had given us, the first insight into the collections. So we're seeing things moving. Because initially there was, uh, I think, a lot of leakage, uh, especially in the lower local governments. Uh, they did not know. Uh, they are uh, tax base. They never took time to register. I'm seeing IRAS as something that will take us far. Now, capturing also so forms of revenue, even if it is birth registration, it must be captured here. If it is trade license, it is captured here. If it's operational permit, it is captured here. I know by the end of the, the financial, we should be able to gauge. Worked. And I think we are collecting the revenue, except for you know nature of taxpayers. There is always that willingness not to pay, but we are, we are involved other stakeholders, especially from up country. And uh, I think we are moving. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, by now. We have gone up to 45 million in collections. We have tried to collect money. This system, which interacts directly with the taxpayer, is the best. Because this revenue person is to do the assessment, tell this revenue or this taxpayer, this is how much you are supposed to pay. They give the person the credentials, the person makes a direct payment. This system is solving very many problems. Number one, it is solving the leakage of revenue that could not be accounted for. It's giving the local revenue, the, the, the local governments, money that is due to us. And the, the, the last time I checked with the, the finance officer and the person in charge of this system, the collection has substantially increased. How has it increased? We made a, a comparison. Before we started this system, in the first quarter of the financial year, what had we collected? Now with the system, in this one first quarter of this year, what, how, how have we performed? There is a very drastic difference. Take this opportunity to thank our partners, development partners, Action Aid Uganda, for supporting the district local government in trying to capacity build our revenue officers.